So in this video, we're revealing the 10 online side jobs that pay well and how complete beginners earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62-year-old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so check it out now. So over the past couple of months, my blog and my websites and my online business has done really well. Like in the past 30 days, we've netted about like $53,000 net. And the craziest thing is in the past seven days, without having my own product offer or website, we've netted about like $15,000 net. So the past literally couple of weeks, I've been on a hiring frenzy, hiring people to work part-time online and paying them really, 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 really well. How much of their experience do they actually have? Really not that much leading up to actually when I, got, when I actually hired them, right? So that being said, it got me thinking that there are actually a lot of people out there that might not have any skills whatsoever, might not have any experience whatsoever, but as long as they have the willingness to learn and the willingness to accept change, that they could create an online side job for themselves that actually pays them really well. And the reason why is because when you can actually get a side job that helps somebody with their online business, the online business, most of it is just profit. So guess what like the online entrepreneur is gonna do? Like I'm not gonna spend this, right? Like my living costs here in Bali where I live where all these like multi-millionaires live, like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million on my podcast or this guy that makes a million dollars per month profit. My override costs here with this place literally by the beach is maybe like, I don't know, $1,200, $1,500 a month for me, my girlfriend and my two dogs. It's not that expensive to live here, right? So all of this, I'm looking to reinvest back in my business. All this I'm looking to reinvest back into people that can help me build my business even bigger, which is why that's a huge opportunity for anyone that wants an online side job because not only can you do this part-time, but because you just aren't getting paid for your time but more uh, specifically your efforts, you could actually get paid while actually working less than a traditional regular job when you go to an office and you clock in and you clock out and someone tells you when to eat, when to sleep, when to poop, when you could see your family and when you go to bed and when you could do it all over again, right? So these are the things that I've been hiring out and it's a big opportunity for anybody. The first place that I would really go and find this talent is literally from Upwork. So anyone watching this that wants an online side job, you could create a free account with Upwork and clients from all around the world can go ahead and find you for your specific service. If you aren't good at anything, it's fine because a lot of these things require very little skill and no capital whatsoever. So the first thing I ended up writing was just like freelance writers. Cause I realized that my blog is gonna be probably the main business model that I'm gonna be focusing on in the next couple of years and seeing all the traffic to the blog because that's what's gonna create the most passive income for me. Like, yeah, I can make videos and whatnot, but like I can literally hire people to write content for me and like turn that into other people's offers in affiliate marketing and pull these numbers without actually having to put more of my time in. Which is why I'm investing a lot into people that are just good at writing, right? good at writing blog articles and whatnot. Maybe they got like an A in their like English class when they were in high school, right? I'm not looking for much. I'm just looking for somebody that has some type of personality when they write. Like look at this. This guy charges $44 an hour. This guy, this girl charges $45 an hour. She's earned over 20 grand. This person's from Serbia. She charges $37 an hour. She's earned over 30 grand. You can see all of these people are actually writers, right, or maybe enjoy writing and they're getting paid to help people with their blogs and their websites to scale their traffic because when my website grows, um, the back end money just grows. So that's why I'm willing to invest top dollar for high quality writers and anybody can be a writer. Like you don't have to go to college for it. You don't need a degree for it. You don't need you know any background experience. You just have to know how to type on the computer and be somewhat good of a storyteller. And those people get jobs really easily when they become a writer. The second job which I literally hired yesterday is a virtual assistant because I had a bunch of like admin help. Like I needed someone to go and answer emails, uh, pay for certain things, send payments, uh, handle some transactions as well as like manage my social media. So I literally hired somebody for just part time. Like it's gonna take her maybe like 20 or 30 minutes a day to do, do this, right? So that's extremely part time and it's a side job. I'm paying her $800 a month for that. 
She could do the exact same thing for multiple other clients and she could make like several thousands of dollars a month for that. So you could see why, like $25 an hour for, for being a virtual assistant, $38. She's earned over 50 grand as a virtual assistant. This one, virtual assistant, $30 an hour, $10,000 earned. The reason why this is so valuable is for example, for me, I do not do well with organization. I'm kind of like the mad scientist when it comes to like throwing a bunch of stuff at the wall to see what works with like my online business. I'm not the person that just organizes meetings and calendars and answers emails. Like that, that's, that, that like I, I would go crazy, right? So literally the money that I ended up making, I'm literally hiring somebody out for like 30 minutes to an hour a day of work, paying her $800 a month and she's enjoying it because it doesn't require much of her time to do this admin task. So if you could help an entrepreneur that's kind of crazy like me and become their virtual assistant and help them with whatever is on their to-do list to free up their time so that they could focus on the bigger vision of the business, that is a really good way to make money. I know a lot of people that live in Bali that not only make money from their online business, but because they're virtual assistants of these people that build big businesses. And the craziest thing is they kind of learn from them for free but actually get paid to learn from them because they're inside their business and they learn. And then they take what they learn and start their own business and become successful with that. So virtual assistant is a really good online side job as a beginner because you're kind of almost like an intern but you're getting paid and you're learning from people that make a lot of money online. Um, the third way to make money with, um, for example, an online side job is with Pinterest. You literally help these people that have blogs and websites with their Pinterest accounts. You can see this girl charges $60 an hour, earned over $70,000. This girl charges $60 an hour. This person charges $75 an hour. And it's pretty simple. You can see from my Pinterest, we get about like 86,000 monthly views. That's because I just literally started hiring it out for somebody to go ahead and manage my Pinterest. Because when people go to my blog articles from Pinterest, guess what? I would get paid from that. So every single time I hire somebody for a side job, even though it only takes maybe like 30 minutes to an hour a day to manage my Pinterest, they're making me a good, healthy return in my investment in the back end. So of course I'm willing to invest in people, and even though they're working part time, I'm literally getting paid well because you know their efforts are literally helping me build my business, right, <laughs> baby? And Pinterest is super simple. You can literally go and sign up for a free account with Canva, and when you sign up for a free account with Canva, you could see that all I literally do is like have these people make you know these really ugly-ish looking images for my blog articles, and I'll just have them pin it on my Pinterest account. If you are good at Pinterest or if you love Pinterest, like for example, I have a lot of female friends that love Pinterest, you could actually turn that into a good side job that pays you really well. I'm talking about like $60 an hour. The next side job is just doing the exact same thing but for YouTube. Look at this, $20 an hour, $25 an hour, $62 an hour, $20 an hour, $27 an hour, $30 an hour, $80 an hour. All of these people, $75 an hour, help people with YouTube with their thumbnails, with their um, search engine optimization. A lot of it is really just the thumbnails, right? Like you could see like my thumbnails are pretty simple. We also create them on Canva. But you could see because of my thumbnails, we make good money. Like we went from $7 a day in the middle of August to $300 a day in like six months. Now do you think me as an entrepreneur, if I saw somebody literally making thumbnails for me, helping me with, with my YouTube, getting my views out there, do you think that if he made me $300 a day, that I would probably invest more into what he was doing? And that's literally exactly what I ended up doing. I started reinvesting more into thumbnails and more into thumbnails because the reason why it doesn't take that long, number one, for these people to make thumbnails, like look at this. You could go and create a thumbnail within like a second. I just duplicated it, changed the colors, changed the words, and just like that, I have another thumbnail. But because we're leveraging, you know, for example, an online business to really fund the side job. So it's more profitable for the business, it's more profitable for the person that wants a side job. The craziest thing is I just kept on reinvesting it to the point where it broke like $500 a day and I was like, what the heck? I had no idea that was actually possible. Like me as a dentist, back when I was studying in college to become a dentist, that would have taken me like my entire life to maybe get that in a day, right? Um, and then look at this, it scaled to $800 a day and then it broke $1,000 and I was like, are you serious? YouTube thumbnails are one of the most important things and that's why, you know, after just reinvesting it within the year of me doing this, like today we pulled in the highest I've ever seen at $1,583, which is insane, right? But a lot of it is really stemmed from, you know, working with people that can really advise me on how to become better on YouTube. 
The next online side job that pays really well is becoming a proofreader. Look at this, $36 an hour, $100 an hour, $45 an hour, earned over 10 grand, three grand, $2,000. It's the exact same thing. You know, my blog and my website is gonna be like my baby for the next couple of years. I'm investing all the money that I make into this. I'm living very frugally here, you know, we're living off of like not that much, but all the money that we're making, we're just throwing it back into the blog and website. What does that mean? I'm not the only person doing this. All these online entrepreneurs are throwing you back on their website, which means people that want an online side job where they don't want a boss to breathe down their throat or their neck while they're kind of like, you know, in the cubicles and they want to work on their own time or work from home. When you work for an online entrepreneur, you could work your own hours, get the benefits of an online business without having the risk. And that's why, for example, we hire proofreaders because, you know, it makes sure that, you know, our blog, we don't sound like an idiot, right? And that's why these people are also getting paid really well. Another good job is product photography. I remember when I was like in e-commerce and I sold like a product on Amazon, we actually sold these like grill mats. Guess what? You know, I had several thousands of dollars that I wanted to invest. Uh, we, we literally got these products from China for several thousands of dollars. We shipped them to Amazon. Our biggest problem was I'm not a photographer. I'm not good with a camera. I don't know how to create lifestyle shots. So we literally hired it out, right? Because what someone does is they'll come up to here you know, a, someone will literally send you the product for free and you just gotta go and create these images, right? Like make it look nice and pretty. And this is literally what we invested thousands of dollars for, product photography, because thousands of dollars was at stake. And that's why people are willing to really charge $150 an hour, $100 an hour. This person's earned over 70 grand. This person's earned over 60 grand. This person charges $100 an hour and earned over 10 grand, two grand. You could see why it's so valuable because when you get good product photography images for your e-commerce business, you make more money, which means product photography is one of the most best investments for these people, which is why they're willing to pay a premium, which is a really good side job to go ahead and begin with. Now, the next category that I wanna recommend is not really a side job, it's more like a arbitrage thing that I did to make $100 a day uh, back in college. I remember finding things and selling things on eBay. For example, $242, I would sell like this bunk bed. And after, like, people are like, well, Mike, I don't have a bunk bed to sell. What'd you do when someone goes ahead and buys? I would literally take the $242 that I made from eBay because it's free to post things. And I literally buy eight, for example, from Walmart, the exact same product for cheaper. Look at this, $199 from Walmart, free shipping, and then it's the exact same product here on eBay, right? It doesn't take any money to post on eBay. What I did back in the days, I would literally take a bunch of products from Amazon, from Walmart, from Overstock, and I would put them on eBay, and I would wait for someone to buy. The moment someone bought, I would get the $242 into my PayPal. I would then take that money, buy it from Walmart or Amazon at a cheaper price, and ship it directly to the customer. I would pocket the difference. Not only that, I combined it with a bunch of cashback sites, like Rakuten, as well as like credit cards for, uh, for example, free travel rewards points. And I racked up a bunch of free travel rewards points that allowed me to start traveling for free, fly business class for free, stay in hotels for free, go on vacation for free. We took my entire family to Jamaica, me, my mom, my dad, my sister, for free because we used the travel rewards points with this method. Another thing that people are doing to make money as a side job, my sister's boyfriend does this, and that's teach Chinese kids English uh, because you earn really good money, like $14 to $22 an hour from the comfort of your own home. You don't need to be, um, you don't need to have any qualifications. You just need to go through some tests and maybe take some kind of things to go ahead and uh, do it. But for example, you could actually set your own schedule, teach one-on-one, -on -one, get paid. And the reason why is for some reason, Chinese kids and their parents want them to get influence to the American language. So if you're really good at English, you don't have to have a degree in English, but you could actually start teaching English and make money. I've met so many people here in Bali, not just the people that have made millions of dollars, like the people that I interview on my podcast, like Mike Chang from Six Pack Shortcuts, or this guy that makes a million dollars per month profit, or this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million. But a lot of them also just taught English. They made like $2,000, $3,000 a month teaching Chinese kids English. They made good money. They worked part-time, they lived in Bali, they had a really good life. And last but not least is graphic designer. Graphic designers make really good money, $40 an hour in Russia, $70 an hour, and it's the exact same thing. When you deal with online businesses, they wanna make money, and what helps them make money is their design, their branding, and how good their graphics look. 
from their thumbnails to you know certain things that they help with their images on their blog to you know creating uh, those like really cool pinnable images. All of those are really important. That's why graphic designing is really, really big. And of course, last but not least, I know I said that before, but just starting a YouTube channel and documenting this entire process. Because even if you fail, guess what? You could still succeed by just sharing your journey and sharing your story. That's literally all I did when I failed. I mean, I wasn't doing that much. Within 365 days, it was only $7 a day in the middle of August. But just because I document everything that I did right, but more importantly, everything that I did wrong, it went to $150 a day. And I was like, oh, I was ecstatic. I was like, wow, this is crazy. Then it went to $100 a day. And I was like, oh my God, this is even crazier. And then it went to $300 a day. And that's when I knew I had something on my hands. And I was like, maybe this is actually the best online side job. And I went all in and now we're doing like $1,000 a day within a span of a year, guys. But if you don't wanna make YouTube videos and you wanna faster and easier way to make money online, sign up for this week's free workshop because we have a 62-year-old woman without showing your face on camera, go from zero to $160,000 profit in 90 days. Check it out this week in the workshop below as well as check out my podcast of all these people that live here in Bali that make a bunch of money online right here, right here. Hopefully this helps. Hope you guys see you guys later. You.